Is this fucking guy in Michigan again? I am here to tell you the rumors are true. Yes, I am in Michigan again. Uh, we're taking a, a little two week long vacation, Isabel and I, to go visit Isabel's family in Michigan. They were very kind and hospitable uh, and set me up with a spare room to stream in. So I am just in somebody else's house streaming right now, <laughs> which is kind of strange. But uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong. I'm still kind of getting on my feet here in terms of my setup. Uh, but hopefully everything looks and sounds okay. Uh, I had to buy an ethernet cable because the bunnies at this house chewed through their old one. <laughs> Which was kind of funny. Uh, so, welcome everybody. Sorry I haven't streamed in a few days, but yes, it is because we went to Michigan and I've been getting settled in and Isabel went to a card game thing and uh, I felt this was a good time to do this. Are the dogs still there? The dog that was really, like, irritating me is no longer here. That was one that was just being dog sat, like, pet sat while we were staying over here. Uh, but the three Pomeranians are still here. I don't really mind the Pomeranians. They, they bark sometimes, but it was just that one dog <laughs> barked, like, all the time and had the most shrill and annoying bark. And I'm, I'm glad it's not here, just because stream audio and my sanity and sleeping and such. Okay. Uh, so, I guess let's just get right into it. Uh, we got some lovely art here from a classic guy, Harry Brusseps. Thank you, Harry Brusseps, for this beautiful piece. Uh, we got a couple of End is Nigh themed arts. I'm afraid that if we get more, I probably won't be able to show all of them, because I don't know if I'll... Frankly, and I know I say this about so many games and then I end up full clearing them, but I really don't know if I'm going to full clear this one because uh, from everyone that I've heard about it, it just sounds like a pain. Uh, I might go for like, a lot of times I go for like maybe not full achievements, but just like all the sane stuff, you know, like uh, getting gold, Golden God and Super Meat Boy, you know, but uh, anyway. Thank you, Harry Brusseps. It's wonderful. Uh, many shoutouts to the Grapefruit Buru, as usual. Uh, let me just get the thing open real quick. Oh yeah, I'm gonna beat the game, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. I just don't know if I'll do all the, like, little extra things. Because from everyone I've heard on this, it's just misery. Like, it's just not even fun. Let's try to not have this be wicked loud. That's probably a good volume. Let's get the game capture. This is not the game capture. I had it working before. Like, why, why does it change? It literally says, I'm not even kidding. It literally says, the end is nigh.exe, the end is nigh. What must I do to make it actually capture the end is nigh.exe? Okay. <laughs> I had it earlier, but okay. And now, oh, I was, why does it look weird like this? It wasn't like this before. <laughs> Ugh. So I'm playing the the monitor that I'm playing on is like an ultra omega wide monitor. I'm gonna need to like do some very fiddly, imprecise stuff here to make it look. A little more acceptable. Oh, and, and it's doing, oh, OBS is doing the cool, like, snap to thing. Oh, that's so awesome and not annoying at all. Uh, there might be a tiny bit cut off on the edges of the screen, but I don't think it'll be that much of a huge deal. No, it's not one of those curved ones. I don't really see the point in these, like, omega long monitors, though, because, like, until they start making stuff on computers to actually fit these monitors, besides, like, you know, Forza or whatever the hell. Uh, it's just one of those wicked long ones. Uh, I am, so, the computer that I am using right now, I'm going to lower my voice, is, it belongs to a crypto bro. <laughs> uh, who is in Isabel's family. And I won't go into any more detail, but uh, it is definitely the bedroom of a crypto bro, and this it, he's got the really long screen. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, uh, listen, I'm thankful to have the setup. I'm not going to toss out words of judgment here, but you guys know. You guys know. You know. Anyway, does it stink? It smells like vape. Anyway, uh, let's play the game. Let me know at any point. I'm going to be unable to, like, see a lot of my OBS stuff. Like, it's better to have two normal monitors than one really long monitor, frankly, in my opinion. Uh, so let me just get the save file open and we'll play. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the music, I don't know if it's going to be, like, wicked loud. That might be a... B oh, the... It crumbled. Shit. Might be a tad loud. It's a tad loud in my ears. We're going to launch right into it. Night on Bald Mountain. Okay. Uh, should be good. Let me know. Oh, good. New annoying enemy type unlocked. That'll be the one room where it's not fucking unbearable. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's a tumor down there. Cool. Uh. Where even am I? Oh. So how about I try to, like, lure it, then hop on this, grab the ledge. Boom. We've got the strategy down. we got the theory. The science is there. Trust the science, bro. I hate trust the science, bro. Like, I hate when people say, ironically, trust the science, bro. Okay. Ah, yes. Hell. That is, like, weirdly hard to do. Uh, I, I knew that I was gonna suck at this game after not playing it for, like, two weeks. And, uh, I, I, this was the last game that I streamed. But, uh... I knew there was gonna be some fucking trouble. Cause it's- it looks identical to Super Meat Boy, but it's not Super Meat Boy. And I will forever struggle with that. I see. Hmm. What's the stratagem here? Stratagem is like a strategy for smart people, by the way. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do there. So I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm not too bent out of shape about, like, getting collectibles yet. Not, like, bent out of shape, but you know what I mean. That's a crumbling ledge. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so Michigan's cool. Uh, I, I went to a museum today. Isabel and I both went to a museum today. That is, like, the most hidden... It's just in, like, a random, like, office-looking building. You would have no idea, just looking at it, that this is, like, the coolest thing of all time. It's called Stahl's Automotive Collection. S-T-A-H-L. Huge recommend to anybody who's in the area uh, because it, it, it's it's not just an automotive mu mu museum it's got like a bunch of old cars you know but it's also got uh, whimsical music machines I think is the best way to describe it oh let's just reset and get this tumor nice and easy right unless there's something that's gonna prevent me from doing that no? It looks like there's a secret up there, though. Fuck. And I think that's the trick. That's the trick, is that there was a trigger point that I hit. That made those rocks crumble. Because this game just loves making you redo things you've already done. Uh. Nice. Okay, really? <laughs> really? <sighs> is that whole something, or is this really just fuck you, the room? Oh. Okay, it's a big tumor, but I'm gonna have to make it back through, which is fucking lame. Yeah, I think, you know, I've been enjoying this game. I like a nice, like, hard platformer, but I think I agree with what a lot of people said about this game, or what I've heard from a lot of people about this game, that it... Uh, a lot of it just seems like unnecessary, like, CBT that doesn't really serve a purpose. 
clearly Edmund was in a very dark place when he was making this. I, stop, I didn't let go of anything. Both times I fell down there, I did not let go of shit. I like hit a direction on the direction pad and it made him drop off. Okay, I'm just gonna reset this room because this thing being in the way is fucking annoying. Yeah, I don't know, like, there's plenty of games, like, Super Meat Boy, you could consider a lot of the things CBT. It's basically, like, uh, all the, all the worst parts of Super Meat Boy, I really hate to say it. And, like, I don't mean that in a way that, like, oh, this game's, like, worthless or anything, but uh, a lot of the more frustrating parts of Super Meat Boy that didn't feel fulfilling to complete, this is reminding me of. Cool, I'm dead. Uh, which is why I'm probably not going to do completion stuff for this game, because it just doesn't... I don't know, I like having fun in Super Meat Boy, despite having some, like, cock cramp sections, was, for the most part, fun. Whereas this is just kind of, like, all cock cramp. Yeah, I heard people saying that Edmund was, like, resigning from game dev with this game, or he was planning on it, and then he changed his mind. Let's just ignore that for now. Okay, what's the trick here that's gonna make me, like, redo a bunch of shit I've already done? Yeah, that thing, I think, prevents me from getting that, at least in an expedient way. Please go down, dude. Yeah, fuck that. I also, you know, I don't know how much this is true, but I also feel like in years of late, Edmund has kind of leaned into, uh... Is there a tumor there that's like... There was like a tumor that like appeared when I got near. Or am I crazy? It seems like Edmund has kind of leaned into doing like streamer bait type games a little bit, which is... Not exactly the highest form of art. There he is. Yeah, I'm not gonna redo this room. Fuck you. Uh... Okay. Also, apparently Golgotha is the hill that Jesus was crucified on. Okay, can I, like, get up there? That looks secrety. Nope. Okay. Cool, whatever. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Ba. But yeah, this guys, this musical museum. Do, do you guys know Joe? And and no, this is not Joe Mama. I'm actually gonna mute the game for a second to show you guys. Hit it, Joe. Surely you guys have seen Hit It, Joe. Why is the master volume at seventy? Okay, that's such a strange, arbitrary number. Uh. I brought this up beforehand, this window, just to show you guys. It's this guy. Bang. Hit it, Joe. This fucking dude. So the museum was like, it had a huge room that was just all these machines. These kinds of weird, whimsical contraptions that produce music. And like player pianos and shit. It was really, really, really cool. Uh, so... I guess if you're in Michigan, uh, like seriously, I'm not trying to be a shell here. It was genuinely a Okay, am I live? Uh, I don't know how much you guys heard there. I'm assuming you can hear me now. Believe it or not, that was actually not an internet issue. OBS completely fucking broke. What was the last thing you guys like heard? Because it, it was not, it was uh, the rare, it was not an internet issue. OBS utterly, completely broke. Was it, well, okay, I know, very funny, Joe, but, like, was it literally, like, right after I hit play on the Joe video, or what even happened? Because I had chat that whole time. Normally chat goes down and OBS goes down and whatever when this internet goes off. That's so funny. There were just a few, there was, like, a solid minute there where, uh, 
nothing changed for me and obs normally has uh Fu features that function and everything just broke it was like obs just completely froze up uh it was kind of insane like 10 seconds after max who the fuck is max i saw the full joe video we saw joe until you paused him okay okay well that's good at least you saw joe so we won't have to do that again uh obs completely and utterly broke 100 like it totally froze up every feature of it froze up and i had to close it and like i had to force quit it and open it again so thank you max as in maximum you know that doesn't i don't that doesn't make any sense right uh no more youtube videos yeah so as i said when nobody could hear me i am gonna have to stitch this vod together and that's kind of annoying but it was worth it for joe uh Let's see if OBS will do its basic functions. Let's just check. My streaming software when I ask it to stream video games. Uh, all right, I think it should be good. Let me know if everything's good. Basically, it, it, was, it was a really cool museum. It was really fucking cool. And very whimsical. And there were it, it's like a volunteer-based thing where all the... Uh, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, I think. Where all the guys working there were, like, old. I mean, some of them seemed like military vets, maybe. And they were very passionate about the things they were showing. Yeah, I don't want to get this tumor. It was really, really cool. I was like, when I heard, like, oh, old cars, whoop de frickin do And then it was actually amazing. And the old cars were cool, too. They had the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. And, uh... They had, like... I'm pretty sure it was not the DeLorean, but they had a DeLorean... Uh, that was, like, kitted out to look like... So, how did... Where do I go? <laughs> Need to hit some, like... I. It's literally, like, Doom, like, line def bullshit in this game a lot of the time. Like, I need to hit a specific line def... Maybe I need to, like, oh, I think there was a hook there that I need to pull. I saw, yeah. God. Twitch says you're offline. Can you hear my voice right now? On twitch.tv, the website? Because that's really all that matters. This particular level was not actually an instance of line def bullshit, but this game frequently does devolve into line def bullshit. Please let me go up, cunt. Sorry. Such a naughty word. Please let me go up, cunt. Please let me go up, cunt. I'm hitting jump and up. Like, what else do you fucking want from me? <laughs> Are you a friend? No, you're faux real. Another annoying enemy. <laughs> oh, good. I think having enemy cooldown attacks, or enemy attacks have cooldown, is cringe anyway. God. I also love me a nice, ill-defined attack animation, where they start the animation, like, two seconds before they actually attack. So you have no idea what's gonna happen. It's just... Reset. Oh god. Okay. Goodbye. Please. Why is it that, like, when a gnat sneezes on a, a Chinese man's dick uh, one hemisphere away, 
I detach from a ledge, but then when I want to detach from a ledge, it's like I am gorilla glued onto it. Ow. Please just grab it, homie. So you guys can expect uh, a few streams during my Michigan outing. Not as many as usual, but I think in the next couple of days, like there'll be one today, one tomorrow, and one the next day. There might even be two the next day because of the Game Awards. We'll see. Yeah, I don't really feel like redoing the stage. Uh, Oh, right, I need to use the, like, ground pound mechanic. This tiny little cramped area. And then I need to, like, finick my way up. Yep, nope. I've reached the point with this game already where I just... Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> game Awards are in two days at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh... On the 7th of December. That one seems like... Why wouldn't you get this tumor? Ow. Does he know? He does now. Uh... I don't see why you wouldn't get this one. It seems like... What's the trick here? Okay. That's just... The challenge to getting that one is jump once. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm trying to think what else has happened. I feel like there's been other, like, anecdotal funny shit that has happened in my time in Michigan already. I really don't know how to get off of this thing. Unless I don't want to get off of it, in which case every button does it. <laughs> like, if I don't want to detach from a hook, then every button on the entire controller does it. But if I want to, then nothing does. Okay, let's just, like... Wow. Wow. I live. I did. I found the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang car. That was at the museum, though. There's also this place called Mar Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum that is a, a similar... of a similar ilk. Uh, more leaning into, like, the whimsical machines and contraptions. Like, old-timey, like, wooden, like, fortune teller contraptions and shit like that. Okay, so, I'm sorry, left trigger does it. That might be the only button on the entire controller that does it, when, you know. This game actually has a really innovative feature where it detects what you want the character in the game to do and does whatever uh, you don't want it to do. This is something that was sort of pioneered in the, the hit game Shadow of the Colossus. Uh... Oh, Jesus. For a second, I thought those spikes only activated if you got, like, near it. I think you have to bait this guy, like, you literally have to. Ah. No, there's a hook there, there's a hook. Uh, it's just gonna instantly kill me when I jump up there, so... So... One, two, three... Okay. One, two, three... Oh, I... How did I get away with that? Okay. 
Stream die again? I don't know. You guys watching the stream? That's really cool. Hold on, let me try uh, using a feature of OBS. Nope, I think it's I think it's still working. <laughs> I, I tried using a feature of OBS and it worked, so should be good. As usual, placed in just such a way to be extremely annoying. Hmm. I really don't know what to do about this guy. He's just gonna instantly kill me. They, they don't really have a lot of cooldown on their moves. I don't know what you want me to do here, but... An up jump doesn't work, and a side jump doesn't work, so... I guess I'll just cry. The reason I keep just, like, jumping into the spikes, by the way, is because they're going on a different timer to, like, all the other rooms. Or at least that's how it feels. It's, like, way slower. Yeah, I, I saw Edmund- somebody said I fucking hate these enemies. There is never a likable enemy in these games. <laughs> I was so optimistic at the beginning of this game when we saw our first enemy, because I was like, I remember what few enemies existed in Super Meat Boy were, like, the worst thing ever. And I was hoping that they would, like, improve on that. I remember Edmund saying on, like, a blog post or something a while ago, like, oh, you know, if I could go back and fix something about Super Meat Boy, I would fix the boss fights. And it's like, uh, you want to take a look at these enemies, Holmes? Because I know this isn't Super Meat Boy, but obviously it's a follow-up, like... Oy vey. Don't get me wrong, the bosses in Super Meat Boy also suck, but... <laughs> Go down, cunt. Okay, so we gotta go across, lure. Wait. Go here. And now I don't really know. There's like, there's, uh, there's hooks down here. Which must do something. Okay. Didn't really help with the jump I actually wanted to, like, do, though. Maybe I needed to, like, do that while I was going up. No, a long jump does it there. But I can only access that, I see. And eh, no, I don't care. Uh... Cool. Uh... Okay, uh... Let's just go. Ow. <laughs> I wonder if I can do, like, uh... No? No, it, like, destroys your ledge cling. I'm trying so hard to do it, I'm, like, mashing the jump button. Okay. But I also need... Is it gonna go to the side? Yeah. Oh, uh... 
cool. So I gotta fucking huh. I gotta fucking huh. I gotta fucking huh. <laughs> it's like just the right height that your jump has to be 100% perfect, or else you're not gonna clear it. Yep. Please go up. Please go down. There's gotta be a cooldown on all the annoying shit. Uh... If it's annoying for it to have a cooldown, then give it a cooldown, yeah. Okay, so what? I gotta, like, drag this around. Oh, I gotta, like, cling to the hook there. <sighs> yeah, that's really finicky. Yeah, I don't want to do this. Didn't want that momentum boost. I tried to jump wicked early because of the momentum boost. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Maybe just hide, like just sit there. Like, while the cooldown is happening, get on the side. Uh... That doesn't seem too tricky to get. Uh... No. No, because that part... Uh... I see there's, like, platforms to, like... People say, oh man, you're really not liking this game. I don't want Grapefruit to quit the game, Bible Thump. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do when the, like... Am I supposed to be, go like, giggling to myself and going, oh, this is really great? <laughs> I don't know. Just calm down, I mean, I... The, uh... I mean, it's blatantly not as fun as Super Meat Boy or Celeste, and it's a lot like those games. Am I supposed to be, like, skipping and saying, teehee, this is awesome? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I think if if you've watched, like, one of my streams before, you know that I don't dislike hard games. I just don't like stuff that just wastes your life. <laughs> Currently, this level is uh, feeling pretty life-wasty to me, frankly. Like, can we not have this be a thing where, like... I'm not in an amazing mood for, like, one level of the game, and all of a sudden I hate the whole thing. <laughs> and hate all hard games and can't handle dying once in a game. Because that happens a lot. Like, all of a sudden he hates the whole game. I think I should, like, wow the, uh... Please, dude. While the, like, thing is in cooldown, I need to, like, hop off, jump here. But the cooldown's too long. <laughs> no, 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 you got upset when you played Sonic, so you hate Sonic so goddamn much, yeah. 
I was watching, okay, here, let's talk about H-Bomber Guy. I watched that new H-Bomber Guy video. Actually, was it even H-Bomber Guy? No, it was fucking Scott the Waz. Uh, and... God, you gotta wait, okay, like, ugh. These platforms here will, like, catch me. It was fucking Scott the Waz, where he was talking about, like, oh yeah, I had, like, Knuckles, I had, like, Sonic 3 and Knuckles as a kid. And, like, I played it a bunch, but, like, I never even got past, I never, I literally, like, never got to the end of level 1. And that was making me think, like, man, all the shit people gave me in, like, the Sonic streams, and how many fucking people at home probably never got past, like, level 2 in fucking Sonic 1 or whatever. When they actually, like, played these video games. Okay. Mm. There we go. That's not really what I was trying to do, but that works. Okay. Mm. Uh. New H Bomber Guy video was good. It was, uh, so the Tommy Tallarico video is incredible, as we all know. It's, like, one of the best fucking videos on the platform. And... <laughs> uh, I re-watch it quite frequently, like, just as background noise. Because it's so entertaining, and, like, Tommy Tallarico's lies are so... amusing. Like, it's so funny watching him get sort of dissected when, uh... Ugh. I see there's, like, another path up there, by the way, but I do not care. Uh... New video was just, like, depressing to watch. <laughs> New video was just... Depressing as shit. Like, I'm not... Like, I was like, oh, I saw, like, oh, new H-Bomber Guy video that's, like, three hours long. And it's, like, a similar premise to the Tommy Tallarico video. And I was like, oh, awesome. This will become my new background noise. And, uh... No, it fucking won't, because it's so depressing. Wow, literally, literally all I'm trying to do there is trigger the block. And it's moving so quickly that it's, like, slamming me down. Really depressing video. I mean, it's, it's like, a lot more, like, of a boring, like, you know, beady-eyed, like, business people kind of plagiarism instead of, like, this annoying, like, cringy, like fake rock star kind of plagiarism that Tommy Tallarico did. Uh, no, I won't be able to get it. <laughs> it's gonna instantly kill me. No? You have to do this, like, so quick, though. Yep. Yeah. Eh. So, cool video, shame about the human race. Uh, <laughs> there's this whole thing, man, I'm, I know some people like this are probably gonna be uh, maybe in the comments of the VOD or in the Twitch chat. I've been shocked at how many people are uh, leaping to internet historians' defense. That's a strange one, guys. I don't, like, seriously, like, I don't know, like... <sighs> I'm doing the, like, hand, like, the waving my hand in front of my throat thing, like, I don't know about, I don't know about that one, folks, that's... I didn't realize he, like, had followers, and, like, fans. That's a, that's a very, like, it's very weird, because it's like, there's a bunch of people who are like, oh, yeah, I watched Illuminati, who I, frankly, had never heard of before that video. They're like, oh, yeah, I watched their videos, or I watched, uh, James, whatever his name, Somerton, uh... And I was disappointed to hear this, and now I'll be like, I'm, I'm, I feel disillusioned. And then all, there's a bunch of people who are like, No! Internet historian did nothing wrong! It's very strange. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and say, oh, Internet historian always had off vibes. That is absolutely fucking true. Like, I'll just say I was not surprised in the least to hear that they did something scummy. <laughs> They have that very, like, 2016-era, like, sort of edgy vibe to them, even if the stuff they were saying wasn't outwardly edgelord content. 
Okay. That I love that block at the beginning that just like falls to make it so you can't cheese that part with the room reloading. Which is funny because a lot of this game centers around like gaming the Yeah. The room reloading. Can I like oh you know what I bet that is Varia's suit. <laughs> I bet I can go into the in that now the water will uh probably act the same way that like the acid clouds did. Uh hmm. How do I even get up to you? Yeah? Okay. I'm 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 not like waiting for it to crumble. I'm just sort of like looking I'm like scanning the rest of the room. Okay. Complete Golgotha, that's so funny. I 100% remember that I'm building a body. That was my first thought when I picked that up. When I walked into the room and saw it, but I thought I was building it, I, I thought I was making it out of the tumors I was getting. I didn't, I also didn't realize this is the end of the level because in this game, you have to uh, leave the end of the level for it to actually count. Uh, okay. I don't know how to get up to that guy, so we're just gonna ignore him for now. Uh, alright, let's go here and see if I can go right now. Last night I had a dream. That's what the head was for, too? I don't even remember getting a head. I think I probably just thought it was a big tumor. <laughs> it was of someone telling me you can access the map, yeah. So, oh, I see. I, I I always had the ability to do this. I just, one of the levels actually told me how to do it. Retrograde. Okay, oh, what do you have to say? Are those... There's like a... There's shit mites floating around the... Uh, somebody said in the comments of the last VOD, they were like, yeah, the shit mites are when you collect a tumor and you, uh... The shit mites are for like from when you collect a tumor and they go away when you die. So I'm assuming on deathless runs of this game where they like 100% the game, it probably ends with them in a gigantic cloud of shit mites. Or maybe even something special happens. Did you know if you squish down and jump, you can kind of slide through those areas over there. Your bones may get stuck on the sharp parts, but at least you've accomplished something. Look at you, lord of sliding into tight spaces. Pitiful. Okay. So I gotta do what? Uh, I'm sorry, literally what button? A? I'm doing A. I'm literally doing A. No, R RT plus A. I, I always think that down is gonna be involved with that, but it never is. There's the Binding of Isaac noise. I like, uh... Has this... This effect has not been on the whole game, right? Like, look at my little guy and look at all the environments. They're kind of like pulsing. It's a neat looking effect. No fucking clue how I'm supposed to get that guy. I would assume it would be from this room. Maybe I have to like do something to it. I can set the fast fall to down. Somebody else was saying that earlier. Maybe I should just do that because it just feels wrong. But ooh. It might fuck with me. I'll, let's try it. Let's try it. Duck slash fast fall. Yeah. Uh, alt. Oh, and that's why. Okay, so both triggers technically work. I see. Let's just set this to down. Yeah. Lefty plus. And now, but it's doing the stupid fucking thing where. Let's just set the alt to that, I guess. No, now it works. Huh. Interesting. I must have. Did I miss something there, or did it. It, like, did the thing where it deletes the other control, and then it didn't do that the second time I did it. It, like, got the message. Okay, yeah. That feels much better. There must be a way to, like, manipulate the hooks in this room to make them... Oh! They cross over. I see. 
Somebody said this kind of looks like Flintstones if you squint. And fuck you, I squinted. I, I, what the fuck about this is Flintstone? Like, Granddad? Like, do you see Granddad in, like, the rocks in the background? I can't believe I fucking squinted. Hold on. Get this guy. It sounds like Flintstones. Man, I'm on crack today. I actually- I squinted at the screen. Okay. Well, th clearly this is not gonna work, because there's... Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think- I think, uh... We can possibly attribute my anger earlier in the stream, or my displeasure with the game, at the fact that I- I, I think I was just in, like, one of the worst levels in the game. <laughs> like, to start off the stream. This already feels way- but, but of course, this is probably just, like, introducing this mechanic in a non-cock cramp way. Yeah, this is fine. Ah. See, and this is the thing, I'm- you know, I'm an artist. <laughs> I believe in showing, you know, as a streamer, I- I don't get to, you know, I don't get much as a streamer. <laughs> like, I'm just a fucking idiot who plays video games. Oh, God. But, uh... You know, in in showing what a game is like, I think it's only fair that you get to see that when an area is, like, fucking annoying or that it pisses me off, that, yeah, I'm gonna get pissed off. Like, that's just... That's just part of it. Oh, my God, Jank, wait. Look at the column, like, below me. Especially right here. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, cringe. Cringe. I'm gonna try this once. The fact that you have to... Uh, no. <laughs> I could have reset, too. I could have reset the side. Okay. We have... I, have, I feel like I have a strategy in my brain, too. I kind of want this tumor. Fuck. You know, if I just go fast, I think I can go up multiple of these at once. <laughs> Barely. I do want- the thing that I really love about this game is the, uh, the jump. The simple jump. I remember- you guys remember that game Thomas Was Alone? There was an ad for that game that was like... The jump in Thomas Is Alone is, like, the best jump I have ever felt in a video game. Or something like that. And I remember being like, wow, like, they must be really, like, struggling of thinking of things to say about this game if that's what they're saying. And then I played Thomas Was Alone, and I was like, this is the best jump I've ever felt in the fucking video game. <laughs> but I enjoy this one, too. The, like, it's just simple. It's nothing, nothing new and innovative. It's just the amount of time you hold the button determines the height of the jump. Okay. I'm gonna try this one more time. Because we can, like, skip, especially going down, it's easy to... Oh! Skip. Eh. Oh! Somehow did not die to the spikes there. Oh god, sorry guys. <laughs> Wearing headphones, wearing a headset is so, uh... It's such a fucking pain when you have long hair. By the way, every time I fucking post... I posted a couple of pictures on Twitter recently, and... There's always a flood of people going like, Oh man, you have hair now. It's like, guys... I was bald, like, four years ago. <laughs> and it was by choice. I literally decided to go bald. I molded, like... Purposefully. I've been- I've had long, like, hippie hair for, like, two years now. Or, like, a year. I really kind of want to get this one. Oh, fuck. Uh, I just realized that I didn't actually fucking hit the thing that- I finally- Guys, I finally made it down. Shame that I didn't activate the fucking bean. <laughs> Th 
That's my streamer. Okay. Now I just need to make it up again. Simple, sis. I don't know, I honestly kind of hate my hippie hair. I, I don't think it looks good. Isabel likes it because she likes to play with my hair, but... And that's very wholesome. You know, I'm her fluffy buddy. It's all very cute, but... It also low-key drives me insane, having long hair. Oh... Mm. <laughs> ho ho, okay. I need to, like, get dropping down to a science here. No, I don't think we can do three. Yeah, I guess baldness sticks out in people's minds, maybe. And it's, you know, it is fair. I don't post a lot of pictures of myself. I don't use webcam a ton, but... It has been several years since I had no hair. <laughs> I've shaved my head twice in my life. Uh, literally out of, like, a primal urge to do it, too. Like, it was like... It was like I was just like, mm, I want to go bald! <laughs> there, there was no, like, good reason to do it. And all my family was like, dude, why did you do this? Oh, I didn't touch the hook again. Like, long hair, it's like, putting on headphones with short hair is like, you just put on the fucking headphones. And with long hair, it's like, you have to fucking L'Oreal, like, take, come out of the water. I have to throw all my hair back, slide the headphones on in a very specific way so it all gets tucked behind my ears. And it's like, nah, nah. You have to do the little ritual, yeah, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I like the music in this zone. I think partially the, uh, the hell music might have been especially irritating, too. Leading to my poor mood. In that last level. I feel, I feel like I've been born again. Going into this level, it just feels like the rest of the game. Ow. This game's getting a fucking, like, seven, so... <laughs> just telling you right now. Just, like, even, even the good parts. I, I do have fun playing it, though. This screen is... How long have I been on this screen? A long-ass time. Well, let's try to get two here. I probably could have done three there. I think... What's confusing me is that the cycles are lopsided. That's what's really throwing me for a loop here. <laughs> nope. Just be patient going back up. I feel like going back up is easier. Maybe it isn't. It's not, it's not like one, two, one, two. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If that makes any sense at all here. Like the amount of the gaps between the cycles are different. Ah, uh, haha. If I say the big fluffy hair is like naggy toes, would that make you want to shave it more or less? Guys, I don't think I'm pulling off the Nagito look, uh, <laughs> regardless. I don't think that's in my wheelhouse. I don't think I- I don't think I have the body type for Nagito. Although, I will say... So, that's a Danganronpa character, by the way. Let's talk Danganronpa for a bit. Nagito is, uh... Each Danganronpa game, like the- the main three, uh has like an edgelord character and Nagito is the best edgelord. Like the first game has Byakuya who's a fucking prick and was a very genuinely like unfun like unlikable character. And uh at least to me, apparently not to a bunch of uh fangirls, but you know, that's how it be in anime. And then the third game has Kokichi, who was also very annoying and, like, unlikable. Okay, so I'm actually going to chill here. Fuck my ass. Oh. 
Like, I don't get what, there's, what there is to like about Byakuya, but then the second game has Nagito, and Nagito is fucking based. He's, like, he's the annoying, like, edgelord guy, but done in a good way, I think. He also, Nagito is, like, the fucking mascot of the series in terms of the fucking stupid hope-despair thing. Oh, it's the themes of the series. No, they just say those words a lot. No, it is a theme. It's just badly written. <laughs> he is like the poster child for like hope, despair talk. Plus, Nagito is in fingers in his ass. That is absolutely true. I, did Was he singing in fingers in his ass? This is not going to make sense to dang and rampa characters. <laughs> I've been on this room for like 20 minutes, I feel like. But I... It's sunk cost fallacy. But also I want these. Can I admit that I went and when I that one part where I just like stopped playing for like five or ten seconds, I just googled what the tumors do, because I didn't I didn't want this whole like dicking around thing. Uh because somebody extremely obviously indicated that they would be uh in some way necessary in the future. And so I was like, let's just avoid whatever dicking around could possibly happen, and I googled it, so I guess plug your ears now if you don't want spoilers, but apparently there will be a game, there will be a level later on that is going to use the tumors that I have as lives. Uh, or at least that's what a casual Google search said. So, you know, as you saw, that didn't make me start going for all the tumors, but I, uh, I want to get the ones that I want to get. He spoiled it for himself. No, Chat kind of spoiled it for me, but, you know. That's, we're not ready for that conversation yet, I think. Ha! Huh. Good God. Okay. <laughs> On to the third screen of the level. <laughs> oh, shit, there's a hook. Please go down. <laughs> Fourth, sorry, hush my tongue. Fourth screen of the level. Redmond was on some shit when he made this though. Like, let's make no mistake. Redmond <laughs> has aired his inner demons in this game. Surely. Cool. <sighs> okay, I see. Oh, these are breaking platforms. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Neat. You know what? That tumor actually kind of forced me to do it in a way that made the level easier, if that makes any sense. By doing it more expediently. Are we going to talk about the giant cluster of things at the bottom that, like, gets bigger when you get near it, too? And here you get a kick out of the Nagito Atrocities. No, Neo Cities website. Oh, they said Atrocities. I, like, can't read today. Maybe it's this wide monitor. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, uh... Oh, am I supposed to, uh... I see. Mm. Nice. I don't know what Neo Cities is. Is that bad? It's like a term that I've heard, but I don't know what it is. Maybe if I did them in another order, it would be easier. It doesn't really matter yet. Maybe it will in the future. Uh. Okay. Oh, that just opened the end of- I was like, what did that do for me exactly? Okay. Oh, shit. Is this- This is just so you can get back, I guess. Uh... Wish that little, like, thing in the corner of the screen wasn't there. I'm gonna assume that's nothing. Oh, god. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Tigger laugh. 
<laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm gonna like cough. <laughs> there was oh man. It's funny, Isabel and I have been watching like old Disney movies, and it's so funny just hearing like Tigger's voice actor show up as like some horrible monster usually. I think he was one of the four titans in Disney's Hercules. And uh, I, th I believe Tigger and Pooh both have the same voice actor, right? <laughs> Just play Gish, TBH, yeah. Based, so based. Honey, you mean Hunkules. I love that movie, by the way. That's like one of my... I feel like that's one of my favorite Disney movies. And yes... It might be a little, uh, style over substance, but I just love the way it looks. And all the stupid, like, Greek mythos humor. Oh, fuck. Am I gonna have to, like, create a ledge? Okay. And Hades. Hades is so fun. I talked about this in the last stream. That, uh, yeah, that, that... Oh, cool new enemy. Okay, and good feelings gone. Good feelings gone. <laughs> Look at this stupid fucking enemy! The, the, the... Tumor, what do you want from me? Am I supposed to, like, bounce on the enemy's head? Or no. I'll tell you what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to redo the fucking level. Yeah, ba 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 Okay. I accidentally hit down. I really didn't tap it that much, but... My control stick did go slightly down, and that do be how control sticks work. I feel like this one's reasonably doable. And to be fair, I've gotten a lot of fucking tumors in real life and the game. So. Ah. Cool. Someone said Gish is a year older than me, lol. Man, that makes me feel old. Just kidding, I was probably like five when Gish came out, maybe. Or like probably three, or maybe I'm younger than you. I feel like I'm not quite yet at the age where I get to go, oh, I'm so old. Just like automatically do it. Okay, can we talk about generations? Do you guys, okay, I'm 28 years old. I was born in 1996. Yes, my math might literally be off there. I might not be. 28. I was born on May 9th, 1996. Now you can steal my credit card information. Uh, am I a Zoomer or am I a Millennial? Because I swear to God, my entire childhood up through, like, the ending of college, I was referred to as a Millennial. Doesn't matter, best answer. But... What is your mother's maiden name? That is not information that's going to help with this question. See, I, it's, chat is split. Post-95 is Zoomer. You're a Zillennial. You're a Millennial. You're Gen Z. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like, it's, it's arbitrary. But I, I was just thinking about that because there was a certain point. There was, like, a cutoff where suddenly... Like, I think it might happen because, like... People who are slightly younger than me, like, my my audience, like, age range on average is, like, slightly younger than me. And maybe people just, like, subconsciously, I'm not even trying to say this is a bad thing, people just subconsciously think that I'm, like, roughly around their age. So, there was just a point in my life where, nope, everybody stopped calling me a millennial and started calling me a Zoomer. And that was just strange to me. But it's all completely arbitrary. None of it matters. Oh, God. <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> is there a better way to do this, maybe? The cutoff is where speech becomes unintelligible. I gotta say, I do... There are some things that kind of make me feel old. One of them is, like, browsing Twitter. Can I survive hanging here? No fucking way. Oh, and I fucked up. There are some tweets that I read and shit where I'm like, this, this is 
unintelligible. Like, I cannot make head or tail of what the fuck they're trying to say. Like, stuff... Stuff sounds to me like the baby Gronk is the new Riz King. Is he dripped out or goaded with the sauce or whatever the fuck that was? Oh, I don't know about this tumor, folks. I don't know about this fucking tumor. Maybe if I like... Kya, I can't believe I just said Kya. He had it memorized WTF. That is absolutely not what the, the actual thing is. Okay, so let's... I think this is the strategy, is like, go up and attack it from above. It, the, the hint to me that this was the solution is that this is the solution where you have to redo the level. I'm sort of wondering if there's a reason why they shoot... Like, ba, ba. And in here... Ba, 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 ba. Do they, do they not speed up when I'm, like, not on this hook? Is it because, like... They have, like, limited line of sight of me and, like, my idle animation or something? I don't, I don't know. Oh, shit, I fucked it up by going to the next screen. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I think I can probably, like, lure one of those shots high up and then duck underneath it. Beautiful. Fuck. Uh, there's a tumor there, but I'll be able to cheese it slightly. Fuck. Okay, another genuine complaint about this game is that when you respawn, let's just respawn here. Can't see your character on the screen whatsoever. Like, they should spawn him, like, here or something. Surely, right? Like, what the fuck is the point of that? Oh, fuck, there's things that grow down there, I see. Because there are so many times when I'm, like, going into a room in this game. And it's not just when you die, it's, like, also, uh... Th there's weird rules in general. There's really interesting, strange rules in this game for, like, respawning. And tr screen transitions in particular. Where it's, like, it just straight up saves the exact spot where you were on the screen transition. Even if, like here, if I respawn here, yeah, I respawn in midair. See, because I'm like in midair when I cross the screen, so now I'm going to hit the respawn button and just hold right. Yeah, it's really weird. I, I can't think of another game that's like that. Oh, fuck. This might be one where I need to like leave stepping stones for myself, yeah. Ha 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 ha, okay. Easy, or something. Oh, but, okay, I see. They're not crumbly blocks, they're like scripted, some of them are scripted drops. If you will. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I didn't step on the right block to like trigger it, I guess? Yeah, okay, I see, I see. So let's like, hope, hope, hope. Uh, uh. <laughs> cool. Very cool. See, that noise that I just made was me having fun, by the way. I like the game. I literally like the game. Okay. Oh, but... Hooking onto ledges is rebound because I changed that binding. So I'm gonna need to get used to that. I literally like the game. I just had, like, a rough time with one of the shitty levels. Oh. I literally like it. It's like a 7 out of 10. Like, that's good. That's a good score. That's a respectable score. Uh. Alright, you guys want to talk about Wapich? Somebody mentioned Wapich. Want to talk about Wapich? I don't really, uh... 
I don't know how I'm supposed to get up to that second hook there without just jumping to it first. Maybe... Mm, it's like instantly go down there. Fuck. Here's a perhaps a dumb question. Uh, do we know that Wapich is legit? So the, the story is that, uh, you know, to those of you who peruse Did You Know Gaming's catalog <laughs> of videos will remember ages ago, and this is just like, you know, something that like some Nintendo employee said in an interview at some point. They were like, yeah, you know, in the Mario Tennis games at one point we were working on a, uh, we were working on like a beta design for a Waluigi Wario equivalent for Peach that was going to be called like Waru Peachy or something. And, uh... Recently, I just don't know if it's actually real. Cause for what for what game was it? Because I was under the impression that that shit was for Mario Tennis, like the original. But the model that was posted looked more like GameCube era. So I'm assuming it's from like Mario Power Tennis or whatever, the, the GameCube version. I, that was never like explicitly confirmed. And that just made me feel like maybe, I don't know. That made me think something maybe was sus about it. Uh, okay. But anyway, the original character designer for Waluigi, I guess, this is, as the story goes, uh, it, the design was for Mario Tennis N64 and the model was made based on the concept for Power Tennis. Okay. Weird. The thing that threw me off, the thing that made me wonder maybe if it was fake was, uh, was the 3D model, because I was like, wasn't this for the N64 Mario Tennis? But maybe I'm wrong. Yes! Okay. Oh, there's a fucking hook down there, though. What does it do? What does the hook do? No! It's just for hanging on to, I guess. So they released an actual, like, a drawing. I don't know if it was said, like, when the drawing was made and when the model was made, but there's, like, a drawing and a 3D model of, uh, Wapich, as people have been calling her, even though, again, I think the name they said originally was... Peachy. And it's really funny because there's been a lot of, like, discourse about, like, hmm, like, yeah, I just don't know about this design. Something about it doesn't really click with me. And it's like, yeah, they didn't put it in the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hate to be... Oh, I completed retrograde. Okay. I hate to be condescending, but it's an unreleased design. The machine. Oh, cool. I see. Also, I- oh my god, it's Flight of the Bumblebee, that's amazing. Oh, oh and the acid is back. The- the gla the gas clouds. That's it, bub, you're going in the machine. <laughs> oh god, I see the guy down there. Mmm. beep bop 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 beep Okay, I've probably talked about this video in the past, but have you guys seen amazing video? Uh... Ooh. Flight of the Bumblebee. I'm not gonna fucking show it, lest we have another Joe incident. But, uh, just look up Rhythm Heaven... Uh... What is it called? Quiz Show Flight of the Bumblebee. I think it's called, like, Flight of the Quiz Contestant or something. It's somebody, like, modded Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix to put Flight of the Bumblebee into Quiz Show. And it's so fucking amazing. It's like one of the best Rhythm Heaven videos I've ever seen in my life. Uh, so... Interesting, and it just like... So if I mash down fast enough, I can go down. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no. What's the Joe incident? Dude. We don't talk about the Joe incident, okay? Please keep quiet about the Joe incident. For a second there, it kind of looked like, uh, like there was- the wire looked different. That's interesting, I wonder if there's like, Doom-esque randomized assets in here, I never noticed that until now. It looked like this bean, this tumor was like, connected to this gun. Like, the, it, it belongs to the gun, and I'm stealing it. Hmm. 
another thing that has happened uh, during my Michigan voyage is that Peter Griffin was added to Fortnite. This is something that was, uh, you know, highly debated, requested for a long time. Apparently the files have been in the game for like several years too. I never heard about that. Huh. Okay. You know... I'm, okay, I was gonna say, I might accidentally get caught on the thing here and have to redo this tumor, but... Fuck. I thought, I, for some reason, I was like, oh, I'll climb the ledge like see this. Okay, this is... Savor this room, because this is the one room where the timed platforms will be bearable. Oh no, there's a new mechanic. Huh. It's like anti-water, kinda? Weird. I used to be able to do Flight of the Bumblebee, not well, but by shaking my head. Hold on. I probably shouldn't do that for too long. Fuck. Okay, this stuff's weird. Pop, 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 pop. Ah. You should release a cover, yeah. Uh, I have a feeling that is, like, required pulling. Hold on, what button is cling? Rich Evans, don't fail me now. No, that's not a thing. That's... What is the point of that? I'm not even really sure what I'm supposed to do, so clearly I'm missing something. Maybe... Just notice this little fella down here. Really, just walking off doesn't... Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I... No, no way. Uh. You know, that's so sad, because I did that- I think that Flight of the Bumblebee thing is- is, like, funny. It's, like, really funny. I'm- I'm not trying to, like, toot my own my own horn or anything, but, like, it's sad. I know you guys probably mostly haven't seen that, because, uh, the only time I did it was on Lark Souls, and Lark Souls just doesn't get good views. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm kinda lost here. Am I just supposed to, like, jump from within this? Doesn't seem like I can really get enough momentum to get on top of it. Uh, and I don't know how to get to that tumor. Like, I don't know how to touch that hook. Without just something stupid. And I also... Okay. It seems like I'm supposed to sort of go up here. And grab this hook and go past. But then what? Can I bounce on the bullets? Oh, yeah. I guess... Uh, no, I can just do the... Uh, the big hop from here. I don't know. A brain worm. Fuck. Ugh. By the way, okay, I don't mean to do that, like, wicked annoying thing that some people do, where they, like, complain about not getting views. I am fine with Lark Souls not, not getting views. Oh, I forgot the button. Uh, I'm fine with it not getting great views. I do it for the love of the craft. And, uh... It's understandable it doesn't get views because it's like this epic, long, multi-series thing. Of course, the later episodes in the later series are not gonna get very many views at all. Okay, let's save here, but then I, I wanna see what this is. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know how to get that tumor at the bottom. Bop, 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 bop. 
That part in particular makes me think of the fucking Rhythm Heaven thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. Man, there's so many times when I feel like I... Like, I should just do, like, an empty jump. I should just not even... Tr when I'm trying to do a straight-up jump off of a hook, I should just hit jump. Like, don't hit a direction at all, even though it goes against all my instincts. I want to hold up. But it's that thing where, like, if I'm holding even slightly to a direction, it will, uh... Is this a screen? Oh, cool. If I hold even slightly to a direction, then he'll do, like, the long jump instead. Let's just see what we're working with here. Am I meant to go into this? Or will it kill me? Oh. It's just a thing. I like the drones buzzing around. We could see them through the windows in the factory, too. In the machine. Oh. Oh, yeah. This music. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Go down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the pain room. Motherfucker, you are getting put into the machine. <laughs> yeah, this is such a good song. Frankly, again, I know it's like... It's like gauche to even say it, but yeah, I don't really prefer this game's OST over Meat Boy, which I think this game sort of begs comparison to, frankly. Cool. Yeah, sort of counterintuitively there, the best way to do that is to go when the gaps are at their smallest rather than their largest. Okay, so if I drop off here, am I gonna have to redo a huge fucking part of the level? No, this is a... Oh! I didn't wanna... I, uh, I wanted to talk to that guy. Hold on. That wasn't so hard. But maybe sometimes you, like, breeze through a room and then it turns out that it was, like, complete fucking luck. There's also this. I thought I would have to, like, hit a use key on that to make... to actually go up. I hear, like, chip, chips and blitz, blitz and chips, guys, at the arcade, at the Round 1 arcade in Michigan here. And I think there's one in Washington, too. Uh, there is a Rick and Morty arcade machine that says, like, blitz and chips or whatever on it. And, uh... Also, Rick and Morty celebrated its 10th anniversary the other day. F feel old yet? Ta speaking of feeling old... Look at this, uh, ceiling asset that seems stuck to that top spike. Is that a glitch? That seems like that's not supposed to happen. I'm wondering if there's something secret in this room because- like a secret, like, cartridge type thing. Mega tumor, okay. So where will this put me? Also here. Ow. Okay, just neutral jump. Neutral jump, and then jump again. Nice. Okay. Fuck. Some parts of the controls of this game are really, like, intuitive and satisfying and unlike anything else I've really played, which is cool. Okay, so let's see if I just, like, breeze through this room like I did before, or if it's hell as I assumed it would be. No. Basically, I just need to hold left and make one little jump. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I can even reach that guy. And it, if I fall here, I'm probably going to get sent back. But maybe that's... Maybe I have to fall to get to him? There'll be something under there. There's going to be big spring down there. And it's going to boing. It's going to bounce me up. I can hear a heart monitor. Oh my god, wait, am I supposed to, like, slam onto that or something? Weird. Okay, well, we don't have too much ground to cover again. So most of the difficulty I had here was getting tumors, as usual. Oh, 
I also think, you know, as as I said last stream, there is merit to uh, making a player redo a part of a platform because it can be it can be wicked satisfying when you just like cruise through it parts that you struggled on before. The wrong button again. It's just a fucking gamble. Maybe I could probably like fix that in the controls because th the fact that they have like alternate buttons is good. I love this song. <laughs> uh. Huh. I love that fucking binding of Isaac noise. It's so funny. I guess I have to, like... Nope. I was just trying to, like, save there, basically. So let's... Exclusively use these... If I can help it. So I think I need to, like, cling to the other side of this and then jump back across. And then there's this really weird part where I'm gonna have to redo the level again. Which I think is very strange. That's gonna be pain. Kind of partially because I don't die when I fail. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's such an epic fucking song, too. It's genuinely, I mean, it's genuinely a great song. All jokes aside. Uh, wow. Genuinely just like a thrilling, very charged, energetic song. Okay, we're gonna try... Oh. Mm. And now going down here, I feel like I want to maybe fall slowly. Eh. Nope. Haha! <laughs> okay, doesn't matter, got tumor. Now I just need to, like, do the room <laughs> as it was actually intended. Which I'm not even sure how to do, but we'll figure that out as we go. Surely that button also did something to make it completable. In fact, maybe I sh Maybe it would have been easier. That, I don't discount the possibility of that. No, I don't see another switch. I don't see any hooks to grab besides the ones on the side of that platform. Ow. I got a key. I got a key? I do not remember getting a key, but... Can multiple people confirm this? I'm sorry, I must be stupid. I just genuinely don't even remember getting a key. Top left. Well, I, I see it there. But... I mean, I see it there now, rather. I don't- I still don't remember getting it. That tumor there uh, confuses and scares me. I, I seriously don't know how to get it. Uh, which I feel like is a kind of a kind of rare feeling for me. I usually know, like, even if something- even if I don't want to do something, like, sometimes I- I feel like I usually know how, theoretically, you get to something, but that one I... Because it's like, the overhang over it fucks it up if you just hold, if you're like holding right into that surface, maybe you just need to do a really precise jump without uh, hitting that overhang, is my best guess. Okay. Fuck. Okay, Meat Boy prepared me for this. Fuck. I should have, uh... Oh, there was a tumor there. Oh, fuck, I need to, like, race to get the tumor. Yeah, I want that one. It seems relatively easy. 
<laughs> but there's a bullet right on top of it at that moment. That's probably the complication. Oh, yeah. Now it's too late. Can I, uh, skip that step there? I've turned into one of those hopping enemies. Yeah, you just need to, like, pause for a tiny second there. Can't do a side jump there, gotta do empty hop. New H Bomber Guy video was really good, though. And really, fuck you, and really, uh... Informative. It was kind of like at a certain... I, I'm sure a lot of people had this experience. Like, at a certain point, it was just fucking depressing. And all that stuff about, like, content mills and, like, sort of... People viewing creativity as this, like, disposable, copyable thing. Or, or even, not even creativity, but just, like, competent writing and shit. As a guy who's, like, like one of my one out of, like, two skills in life is that I am a half-competent writer, so maybe I took it extra personally. But I've always kind of felt that way about, like, slop. I remember feeling this way about the stupid, uh... Elden Ring, how many bosses are in Elden Ring article. If any of you remember during the Elden Ring streams, me ranting about that. I don't even know if that ended up in any of the main channel edits. Uh... But I, I, just that, like, people are willing to just sort of, like, churn out slop for the money instead of doing it for the passion of doing it, even if what they're doing is, like, reviewing a dumb video game accessory, you know? It's like they don't take it seriously, and it shows. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Is there, do uh, but how many bosses are in Elden Ring? Seriously, like, don't get me started. Uh, <laughs> it's it, it's pretty easy. I mean, I don't know if there's a definitive list out there now. Surely there is. But in the first few weeks of Elden Ring's life, there was this really garbage clickbait article at the very top of the search results that was like, here is the... And it was, like, published, like, the day after Elden Ring came out. And it was like, here is a list of all the rings in Elden Ring ranked by, like, cave minor boss and major boss and they were like completely and if and and also it claimed to list whether they were unique or not which your definition of unique can change but this article even if it had a shitty definition of unique that definition changed like five times because this was the worst list i have ever seen in my entire life like it was so inaccurate in like every way and I was just like, man, the person publishing this should be ashamed of themselves because you know they don't give a fuck. You know they barely, they probably didn't even play the game. They just, like, put this out there because Elden Ring is getting clicked on a lot right now and we want to feed people ads, you know? And it was just so depressing. And that's the feeling I got from that H-Bomber guy video as well. What the fuck do I do here? Can you guys help me? Uh, if anybody has any tips, maybe, uh... No, I tried that. How the fuck do I cross this gap? <laughs> oh! I see what it is. That's not a spike. Those are hooks. There's hooks on these. I very much thought those were obstacle spikes. It'll kill you, don't grab it. Trying to get the one, like, down there. Uh, oh shit, that stuff got me. Okay, now I need to think about, like, okay. So sadly, ha uh, ha ha ha. Okay, now jump, get the thing, cool. Ah, uh, now what? Piss my pants. Because I know I need to get up there and hit the switch, but, like, I... I don't know how to do that without dying. I think I... No, I can just barely make it, so just get off this. Because I'll be jumping off of it. I'm not, like, riding it all the way through the smoke cloud. Uh... 
Yeah, let's just... Oh god, I need to, like, go up faster, I see. <laughs> and then there's just some... There's just some fuck you right at the end there. Alright, some nice, cool, interesting uses of these unique mechanics. And then at the very end, in classical style. Just a fuck you. Yep. I'm always excited for the Game Awards, by the way. I don't know if you guys are. Uh, they're always good for a laugh. And, like, to let off some fucking steam, too. Because it's just like, ah, what a lovely, like, figurehead of the shitty parts of the game industry to get nice and annoyed at. It's It truly is our version of the Oscars. Mm. I always jump ship a little too early there. Because I'm worried about dying to the gas. Gas. Room begins filled with gas. Room begins filled with gas. There's me jumping ship a little too early. My classic move. Man. That is, uh... Sure, just go. You need to, like, a certain amount of sideways momentum to get through these spikes, too. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. That kind of threw me off. Oh. I see. Interesting. I'm really glad that wasn't as hard as it looked. I love that these guys, like, cycle between a, a variety of expressions when you uh, bounce on them. It's cute. Good detail. Thank you, Edmund. Good game dev. You get a biscuit. Oh. Hard to get your rhythm back when you uh, cling to the side of the block there. Hmm. Maybe I should try to, like, long... But there's a bunch of stuff up there, too. Fuck, I hit the wrong button again. No. Nope. I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta just, like, snipe it out while this shield is not there. Mmm. Eh, maybe that's not gonna... That's not gonna happen. Yeah, because that other side's gonna catch me, too. No. Uh... No, maybe just... I think jumping from the top blocks... Oh, I can't even get up there. Hold the phone. No, I, I gotta... Yeah, I gotta... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can just... I, no, I can just grab that. Yeah. Okay. Now we know how to get it. I'm probably not gonna live here, but... I'll try. Oh, okay. I love the unique tumors. That's like one of the coolest things. Having each collectible and like, you know, yeah, plenty of them look extremely similar, but I think they are all, they have all been unique so far, which is so cool. What? What killed me? Oh, no, the roof has spikes. Okay. I was like, there was no spikes there.
I really didn't. I tried not to jump that high. I tried to do like I thought my jump was gonna be too short. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Meow 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 meow. I kind of love that these spikes on the conveyor belts just look like shit. Like <laughs> it's not it's not a huge deal. Maybe if you had just like if they had lowered them by like one pixel. <laughs> Doesn't anyone else think that effect kind of looks like shit? The spikes like riding on the tracks. Like, I get that it's like, oh, it's like the spikes look like every other spike in the game. It's just a, a block of spike on top of a conveyor belt. And, like, surely, you know, it still has physical mass, so it wouldn't make sense to put it below the, like, tines of the thing. But it's doing the fucking Philbots bullshit, where it's a conveyor belt, but the things clearly aren't moving at the same rate as the conveyor belt. The spikes move way slower, and I move, move way faster than the actual conveyor belt animation. Bro said Tyne. Yeah, because it's a fucking Tyne. <laughs> what do you want from me? I have that word. I'm not going to not use it in a perfect opportunity to use it. Bro said Tyne. Ow. There was one when we were at that, like, uh music box museum or whatever. It, it wasn't even... It, it was supposed to be like a car thing, but there was just also a bunch of whimsical musical machines. Uh, the guy there was showing us one of them, and it was like a one of those like cylinder... It was basically like a gigantic music box, you know? But it had extra stuff where it had like a snare drum that it hits, and uh, like a cymbal that it like crashes and stuff. And he was showing us the cylinder with all these tiny little intricate metal things on it, and he was like, yeah, so this one's from, like, 1870 or something. He was like, I literally don't know how they made this. <laughs> like, I have no clue how some, like, random, like, Swiss inventor... He was like, I think they were, like, a watch manufacturer or something. But other than that, like, I have no clue how they managed to make something so tiny and intricate. Guys, I think either I just needed to, like... It's probably a combination of the two, realistically. I, I think that fucking Golgotha level sucked ass. And I needed to, like, fucking readjust to the game. Because I'm having a lot of fun now. Sorry to anybody who fucking ditched the stream in the first ten minutes because they were like, Ah, he's cranky. Time to get out of here. This guy, though, it seems like these are both on really slow loops. Here, let's, uh... You know what? I think that fixed my issue. Resetting the... or save scumming, basically. <laughs> but is it scumming when the game clearly intends for you to use it like that? No. In fact, there I felt like it was almost necessary. Or I would have maybe been able to do it from the other loading zone, but only if I waited like an extremely long time for these very slow cycles to go through. Oh, <laughs> I want that tumor, but ugh. So I think even when these things are as close as possible, you can probably still squeeze between them. Maybe not at their po the closest possible bit, but... Oh, what the fuck? Also, earlier when I said, like, random level assets, I think I said Doom, and I definitely meant Half-Life 1. Where it has, like, randomized textures sometimes. That tumor seems like it's going to be really fucking hard. Damn. Oh, that actually... Wow. That ah, kind of feels like bait, but maybe I just uh, baited myself. That hook seems like it's perfectly lined up to, like, jump through that, but it's just barely not. <laughs> what is this one? What is the challenge there?
Yeah, I said Doom like a fucking idiot. Sometimes I'll realize that. This is that thing where, like, I'll say something wrong on stream, and sometimes, literally, in, like, the dead of night at, like, 3 a.m., I'll, like, open my eyes and go, like, doo, 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 and be like, oh my god. I said that I made a comparison on stream today, and it actually, that was the wrong game. I said the wrong thing. Ow. Uh... Mm. I can, like, bait this. Use it. That seems like a relatively easy tumor, right? Haha. -ha. Uh, so what? Where are we? Don't go down, dude. Uh... I don't really know what to do. That was really cool. <laughs> Wonder if they meant for that to happen. Dude. Anybody know what I'm talking about here? Or, like, seriously... Don't lie, okay? Lying is a sin. Anybody else ever notice that in Super Paper Mario, in Flipside and Flopside, the hub worlds, if you start Mario's walk animation on the right, like, frame, you know, on the right, at the right time, his walk cycle dup, 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 perfectly lines up with the music. You know? And it, it, like, it literally just perfectly, like... And I would, I remember when playing that game, like, trying really hard intentionally to get that to happen, because I noticed it once, and it was so satisfying. And it's not one of those things where it's like, ah, you know, the, the turn signal is, like, synced up with my music that I'm listening to, and then it sort of tick 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 it, like, kind of gets off, you know? Nope. You can walk around forever as Mario in, like, flip side and flop side and have your feet go to the beat of the music if you just start it at the right- the exact right time. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh. There's also the only other instance in my life that I can think of, like, a perfect sync is, uh... In... So... Woodenville High School. There is a... Oh, I shouldn't even try to go to the other side there. I should just try to instantly go to the keyhole. Damn. Uh... Near Woodenville High School, there is... A, I, I don't know if it's still there, but there was this, like, blinking red light at an intersection. Going like... You know? And it goes perfectly to the beat of building a highway or whatever it's called. Highway Under Construction, I believe, is the name of the song by the gorillas. And so if you ever go, if you ever find yourself near there, see if it still works. Because I remember sitting there in traffic for like, you know, because it would be like the end of the school day. And like everyone who has a car is like driving out of school all at the same time. And, uh, there's, like, a huge fucking traffic jam at this, uh, four-way stop. And, uh, oh Can we talk about this gun, by the way? <laughs> so I would sit there in traffic for, like, ten minutes. And there was just one time where I was like, wow, this song that I'm listening to actually perfectly goes to the beat of this. Like, to a T. Like, it doesn't ever get off beat. Bruh. Okay, that's what that does. Oh, that one stray bullet got me. Ow. Hmm. Man, it's crazy how many times I've made this super precise jump to miss both of the things that you can get there. Like, wicked fucking hard jump. 
I'm so skilled at doing poorly. Ow. So here, hold on. I'm gonna do a little dance for you. I'm gonna jump up to the next screen, and I'm just gonna hit the select button over and over again. <laughs> Fireworks, they're so beautiful. Okay. Oh, I see, and I need to hit both of them. Meow, 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 meow. I like that the, uh, the, the platforms or the, the enemies that kind of grow, uh, they, they recede when you go far away, so it doesn't just permanently fuck up the level, which they easily could have done and would have been a very Breadmond-esque thing to do. <laughs> so I got scared. I like it when devs think about the cycles, you know? Won't anyone ever think of the cycles? That room had good cycle thinking, where it, like, spawns you in a perfectly comfortable spot on the cycle. <laughs> I'm trying- uh, I keep, like, falling out of the river of up. There's spikes there, fuck! Uh... Okay, so I gotta grab that hook, and then I can sort of hang out on the other side in peace. Didn't someone complete this game without dying once or something? I, I would believe that multiple people have. Uh, I remember just when I got the game and I looked at the little, like... You know that stupid little, like, Steam social media thing they have? The, like, forum on, like, directly on Steam that always, like, sucks. <laughs> uh... That one I remember seeing just a few random screenshots of people being like, yeah. Here's here's my I finally did it, I got zero deaths. Which proud of them. But that's cool. I, I I gotta say, uh, it's funny. I I haven't been surprised by something like that in a long time. Like, I'm not trying to sound that that sounds very like condescending, but like it's just after hearing about all the ridiculous shit that speedrunners do, and just, like, skill players do, it's, uh... It's hard to ever go back to that sense of wonder that I used to have about things like that. It's kind of sad in a way. Please, no. Uh. Huh. There's also a thing that falls down when I do that. Brr. When is Lark coming back? Uh, Lark? I'll stream more with Lark. We were thinking about doing something, uh, looking at Facebook recently. We were gonna, like, look at, like, weird shit on Facebook. Man, I don't know how to get back there. I guess use the hook. Do a do a big jump. Yeah, same kind of loss of mysticism goes for uh secrets in video games. That's right, chat. But at the same time, you know, I think what has done secrets really well recently, because it's like, oh, you know. Data miners and hackers are just going to instantly find, like, every secret in a game. It's not something you actually have to, like, figure out, usually. Deltarune and Undertale have both done that really well by having it be, like, all that bullshit where it's like, oh yeah, if you look into the game's files, like, you see a bunch of vague shit. It's like, if you have... if the game developer has the knowledge that those game files will be read, uh, then they can just put creepy, hinty stuff in the game files, you know? And just be really prudent, or really, uh... Stringent? Is that the word? Uh, about... Keeping unused content out of the game unless they want people to see it, which is an interesting way to do it. <sighs> so 
so... My boy, you chose to read the data mines. I, I think that's silly. I, so, am I going up or to the side here? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hold on, get a good thumbnail, there we go. Uh... That's not really valid, I think, because, uh... It's like people data mine, and then the information just spreads. You know? I'm not trying to be rude here, but... Like... The info gets out. And, and then a ton more people know it than would have known it. I'm not a big fan of data mining, frankly. And then, yeah, people... It's like the people... Oh, man. Let me tell you. The guy who wants to share this information... Like, nobody has ever wanted to share information more than the guy who just looked at the data mine and, and wants to tell everybody who, like, the Street Fighter DLC characters are. Or whatever. There is not a person on the planet who has a greater t desire to share information than those people. <laughs> like... Ah... Uh, this is kind of fucked up. I gotta remember that, uh... Oh wow, I just got, like, telefragged. Uh... This gas, this, like, poison gas is actually kind of lenient, in a way. The way that it, uh... You don't actually, like, you can still be completely overlapping with the cloud and, like, not actually have it affect you. Kinda. Like, I can stand here. Like, there is, you know... Yeah, I mean, don't look shit up if you don't want it to have, to have it spoiled for you. But at the same time, I mean, I think, especially with the format of Deltarune, where it's coming out in chapters, and you can kind of hint at the stuff that might or might not be showing up next. I'm, like, moving. I'm jumping too fast. <sighs> oh... And then there's also, there's kind of the opposite effect, which I think is, in a way, kind of silly, is there's puzzles that are so, that developers put in a puzzle where they're like, okay, well, you know, now I'm going to put in a puzzle that's so fucking, like, wild and intricate and complicated that nobody's ever going to be able to solve it without looking it up, you know? Thinking about that one puzzle in Fez, did you guys know about this? Surely some of you have heard this, but this is such a beautiful story. There's a puzzle in the indie game Fez, which I a lot of people, you know, hate Phil Fish or whatever, and a lot of people shit on the game because of him, or shit on the game on its own merits. I think it's a lovely game. There's a puzzle in Fez that nobody ever solved, and it got brute forced. So basically what people did was there was this puzzle, there's this whole fucking thing, I guess I won't spoil because it's kind of spoilery, there was this thing where, like, uh, there was, like, some kind of, like, symbol on the ground, and there's a lot of stuff in Fez about, like, translating, like, languages and shit for some of the secrets in a way that's really, really cool. Uh, and so people were like, ah, here's a new symbol, we need to, like, figure out what this means. And I guess that the people just never could figure out what it meant, and so they made this, like, community website that was like, hey... We're gonna have a list, cause, so because all the secrets are in Fez are activated through a code of inputs that's always the same length. So they were like, okay, we're just gonna make a huge fucking basically spreadsheet of all the possible combinations. We're gonna like generate all the possible combinations for this. And we're just gonna have this huge community effort where you can go onto the website and check these inputs and be like, yep, I checked that that's not it, or in one person's case, yep, I checked that and I found it, it was actually the correct, it was the secret. And they just brute forced it. And <laughs> as a community of people, solved this puzzle without ever actually understanding what the solution was. Which I think is extremely funny and kind of cool. 
But also, like, that's the dark side of, like, you know, puzzles so hard that you, like, need to data mine. Okay, thank god. Oh, Yeah, right, what if someone did an input wrong? That's like that anxiety you get when you're setting a new password on your computer. And you're like, what if I typed the wrong password the exact same way twice? <laughs> uh, I, I think to this day we don't know what the, uh, what the solution to the puzzle really meant, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, I don't know, maybe this story is apocryphal. Which ARG is he talking about? It's funny, I don't even think it was an ARG. It was just a puzzle in the game Fez. That's so funny, ARG. Because from joining in and hearing me talk about that, you would totally think it's an ARG. But no, it was just a really wicked hard puzzle that nobody ever understood. What the fuck? Okay. This is another thing. This is a soul, I'm assuming. Machine completed. Okay. So I got a head, a heart, and a body. Now, final zone. Uh. Oh, here we go. Place body, place head. Place heart. Cool. I love that I thought it was the Varia suit. That's so funny. He's so happy. Rich Evans is so happy. Dear best friend. God. Last night was amazing. We have so much in common, you and I. I mean, it was great. The whole Last night, night was great. They so fucked. I took some pictures, you know, just to remember all of the great times we had. Spoilers, the photos are great. Oh, I love that cheeky little wink you did in that last picture. So naughty. <laughs> what I really can't believe is that we both like video games and flies. <laughs> what are the chances of that, right? I made you, oh, I had my doubts. But, you know, you turned out to be the real deal. The hardship was totally worth it. I'm heading to bed. My head is still spinning from all that juice we drank. It... It almost feels like you slipped something into my drink. How, how, how are you feeling? Did, did you have as good a time as I did? Do you like me? We, yes, we no. Talk about it tomorrow, but one last question, okay? Do you like me as much as I like you? Uh, is that... Did I actually... Did I beat the game? Is that it? Is there not a final world? No. There must be a final world. Also, they actually fucked. They legit fucked. What? What? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Please. Uh. How the fuck does the Earth die twice? <laughs> Please, I was so hoping for an... Oh my god. Sad. It was still pretty good. You know, I, I gotta say, maybe, it maybe it's because Rich Evans uh, is on Red Letter Media, but... Oh, there's a fucking weird cartridge up there. Cool. His... Oh, here's the lives thing. Here's the lives thing. Okay, Jesus. His, his mic quality doesn't sound the best, and it, it just kind of sounds like Rich Evans talking into a microphone, which it is. That is what it is. So here's the lives mechanic. So I probably shouldn't prioritize this thing. We. Are. Fucked. Dude. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, you're awake. Man, you missed out on some seriously epic fire and brimstone bullshit. <laughs> it was all bam, boom. Gah! Crunch, crunch, baboomba. Ah. <laughs> Please, no. Then the earth freaking opened up and every damn tortured soul came out, screaming into the red night sky. Sadly, you missed it. Lazy. Anyway, <laughs> there's nothing to live for anymore. I highly recommend giving up now. I did, and look at how happy I am. Also, I wouldn't recommend dying. When you die in this place, you leave a piece of yourself behind. 
See you on the other side. Recommend spelled wrong? Funny. Throwback to Gish, where the opening cutscene of Gish has, like, the wrong version of there, there, and there, or something like that. Or they did your wrong. <clears throat> okay. I don't yet know if you, like, restart the entire video game, or if you, uh... Just restart the level. I kind of assume you would restart the whole game, because I feel like that would fit the ethos. Uh, no, let's not do a long jump. Do a big jump here. Haha, <laughs> fuck that. Uh, when you hit a checkpoint, you recover your total amount of tumors. Really? Oh, dear God. So uh, there's going to be some fucked up shit, right? Or by checkpoint, do you mean, like, a screen? Hold on. No. Or maybe, like, when you get a new screen? Hold on. They mean a chapter. There's, like, a lot of game left. Okay. Fine by me. Need to wait for these guys to cycle, as weird as that sounds. <sighs> Is this... I think if I wait for him to be as near to me as possible, I can probably jump over him. Yeah. I got a lot of them, so... I figured we shouldn't have too much trouble, but... This is definitely, I mean, I, I looked this up because there was a fucking, there, there was a bunch of fucking, like, oh, like, smile in the Twitch chat, and I was like, okay, can we just, like, skip this fucking charade? I love that they, like, take time to disappear. They, like, chill there for a while. And I just wanted some, like, information. And, uh... Oh. Nice chain, dude. Totally connected. Oh, God. That is a really cool, that's a very unique mechanic. Very, very neat idea. It's like, the live system is so hotly debated and widely hated, reviled even, and, uh, it's kind of refreshing to see a new take on it that I feel like I've never seen before. Am I going up to that hook? I thought I was trying to go across there, but maybe I'm going up to that hook. Yeah. Now I'm going across. Very cool. I like this area a lot, just the way it looks and the music. Is this a particular classical song? Because I don't know if I recognize it. Okay. Uh, what the fuck, homie? I don't know how to get up to that. Is there like a hook that I can pull that... I don't know. I don't know how to get up there. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, I was sort of thinking, like, I assume there's no tumors to find in here. But I guess there could be other shit. Hmm. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. Works. I'm sure there's, like, some, I don't know, there's probably some crazy, like, weird, like, true ending bullshit or something that I will likely never see. Poor Rich Evans. <laughs> this blob just is Rich Evans. That's so fucking funny and stupid that that's Rich Evans. Like, 
come on. Ah. Uh, I need to touch that thing to make it crumble. Shit. I, I accidentally, like, jumped and then bop, boop, bop. I went, like, up, down, up, or something. In a way that fucked with my stees. Yeah, and it certainly will just sound like bad voice acting and like bad mic quality to somebody who does not know what Red Letter Media is. That's absolutely right. But it is funny, and like, you know, it's kind of fucking, it's kind of, in, in, a, in a word, epic. It's epic, I think, to put Rich Evans in. Not even trying to be a dick there, I, it's, it's epic. do this earlier. They just jumped. I just fucking jumped and did it. <laughs> this screen is pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. Uh, I I don't really think I'll play Loon Acid and somebody... I said that last stream and then somebody was like, oh my god, he said it like Loon Acid. I don't know, it's the root words Luna and Acid. Seemingly. I assume it's Lunacid or something like that. I don't know. I know people said it's like Kingsfield, but better. I, I don't know. Maybe. Kingsfield, to me, a lot of the joy that I got out of that was just... Looking at a really funny, old, jank game. Uh, rather than its actual merits. <laughs> and also, admittedly, also its uh, links to Dark Souls. Link. Got! Bruh. Oof. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wait for this spike or not. This hook. Let's try to, like, preempt it with a jump. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> okay. Mm. Are, are you guys getting virtual boyed yet? By the cool graphisk? It's not as bad as Virtual Boy, because this has, like... Oh, maybe I just need to, like, survive in there and wait for it to, uh... Go all the way down. And then... Oh, man, but still... Oh, uh, eh, okay, whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Virtual Boy... Graphisk was bad because, uh... The, like, things that in a normal game would have probably been black pixels were red, so it had this kind of, like, inverted bright red feel to it that was, like, bad. Even though I think inverted colors can actually look amazing. Nice. Okay. I was overthinking that one. Maybe underthinking, actually. I think I was under... Th I think I was just dumb. Yeah, and also, Virtual Boy graphics were bad because it was, as chat put it, beamed directly into your eyes from half an inch away, yes. <laughs> what a comically bad console, it's so funny. I fucking love the Virtual Boy. Bella has this really cool book that's about, like, the art and games and stylings of the Virtual Boy. Fuck my ass. I'm dead. I love a game where you die a lot, but they, like, give you a button to instantly kill yourself. It's very satisfying. Like, Mosalina has the, like, vine boom button. There you go. Hey, 
And the Virtual Boy is just like one of those old ass, like stanky ass ideas that you can't help but like, you can't help but love it in a way. Like, it's almost lovable for how fucked up it is. Their desire for VR was so strong. Oh, I see? That one just floats up. I think these operate on different rules. I was confused for a moment there. Okay, what if I... Oh, maybe just the... the... I think just the button that I hit. Or this little key card that I got made that happen. <laughs> I, I am enjoying this section with these wonky circles. It's just some fun... It's like... I think... A lot of times with like really precise stuff where there's like spikes everywhere... Oh fuck. Is there something up there though, man? Mmm. I always, like, don't notice that shit until I'm, like, at the end of the screen. Whatever, this is a neat screen anyway. Let's let's see if I can get up there. No, but uh, how the fuck could I jump up there? No, I think this was stupid. Can't wall jump in this game, sadly. I know, right? It's madness. Because that only goes up so far. I don't think that's makeable. Jump off of a wall because it launches you. I see, like, the upward motion of that one. It's so slow, though. No way. I don't think that's doable, or if it is, I don't know how. Quick, get in the game files! Yeah. Check the data. Is it weird to say I kind of forgot I have lives? Until like just now. Uh, there's a hook on the other side of that, like, in a spike, which means that thing's probably going to fall down. Thing is, okay, jump to the platform with the first balloon, good. Second balloon, platform, good. Third balloon, platform, good. Fourth, cool. What about that highest one, the fifth one? What is the fucking plan there? Because all of these platforms are currently at the highest they will ever be. It's like I can lower the third platform, but I still don't think I can, like, make that jump. I can get from fourth to fifth by slipping between. It's- I- I just- I- it's not like jump better, it's like I actually don't know what to do. Upward momentum? Yeah, maybe? This is quite hard. Oh. Ugh. Oh, what, what the fuck? No, you totally can just jump that. Okay. I, s I just... That didn't look like I could get enough height. Like, it didn't even look close. Don't know. Don't ask. <sighs> this one is also... confusing me a little. Yeah. There's just some stuff that looks, like, barely not makeable here. The 
The answer was literally jump better. The answer was know what to do because I didn't know what to do. I, I feel like that's not hard to grasp. I clearly didn't think that looked makeable. That's not jump better. This is this is that get good bullshit that everybody fucking hates. Uh Okay, I assume I need both of those. There's a oh there's a key card on the right, there's a key card on the left. Man. Sucks because they spawn directly fucking above you, so you have to have, like, the pattern memorized if you don't want to get... spiked. Oh. Okay. Have these all been... I, I may have just now noticed this, or maybe just this one room was similar, but have these all been, like, super fucked up versions of the earlier platforming challenges? These guys have extra tuggy. What do I, what do I, what do I, what do I, what do I do? Huh? Uh, oh. I did not see this block. It looked like it was in the background. Uh. I wonder if this game was made in Flash. Surely not. I don't think so. Because original Meat Boy was in Flash, and it sucked kind of because it was in Flash. And then Super Meat Boy was like, okay, what if Meat Boy didn't suck? We're going to make it in its actual, like, own engine. And so I would assume that uh, this probably uses the proprietary Super Meat Boy engine, if I had to just make a guess. These things don't give up. They don't just bob toward you, they like actively chase you all the way. Oh, they're cool. They're cool looking. Yeah, and, and like, just, you know... I mean, I play a lot of Flash games and this doesn't feel like a goddamn Flash game, although there have been some Flash games that have impressively good, like, or well-developed game feel, like fucking Obobo's Big Adventure, for instance. Oh god. Great. Of course I have to do it again. And I accidentally touched the edge of the screen and now I gotta do it again again. What am I- oh, I keep missing blocks cause uh... They look like they're in the background to my casual glance. Somebody commented on the VOD, the first VOD, something like, Lack of visual clarity, the game. I don't know if I would go that far, but there are times when I feel the lack. I feel it lacking. Ugh. Cool. It's Castle Crashers Flash. I would assume not. Oh, God. 
but I actually don't know. I've not played Castle Crashers. I played it a tiny bit before. But that was before I played like 600 Flash games and could probably feel the difference. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wipe out or whatever. I, man, I, I bet I could probably, if I listened to the laugh, I bet I could probably do like a wicked good wipeout laugh. Okay, the orb approaches. <laughs> oh, please. I jumped too low. Hmm. Fuck, man. Uh. Is it just, so that ledge that I died clinging to, I think if I just go, if I just jump right away, I'm just worried about that ball above it. I don't, I don't know if I could make a long side jump for that. Like I, if I could like, get it to not lean towards me, that would be amazing, but I don't think there's really a way. It's all very time sensitive for multiple things. There we go. Cool. Alright, complete anguish. I can't help but notice my tumors have not been refilled. Oh, I see. They refill at this thing. Cool. Very cool. Cool new annoying really fast enemy with a dumb face that's gonna kill me a million times. Awesome. This music. You're telling me we get an epic remix of what was already one of the best songs? This, this is just the Dark World from Super Meat Boy. <laughs> Sorry. I just realized that. Yeah, what a good track. This one's banger. Yo, they cooked with this one. And ate. This is literally just the Isaac Dark World. Like, yeah, it's the future, but whatever. Oh, ha, ha. And there were goddamn leftovers. That's exactly right. Poof. Oh cool, are those like fucking wicked annoying birds gonna be here? That's awesome. I met a really cute bird. The, the Isabel's family uh, is very pet heavy. And uh, so I, uh, one of them has this amazing little like parakeet that was just so cute. I feel like I could just stare at animals for hours. Like, is that... Does anybody else have that? Any pet owners? Do you ever just, like, look at your pet for an extended period of time? Because they're just such beautiful little curious creatures. Like, when, I'm, when I was holding that little bird, I was like, I just want to look at this... I just want to look at this guy for, like, an hour. They're so cool. As somebody... I, I had a bunch of pets, but when I was a kid... And I feel like I've not had any as an adult, and I feel like I can appreciate them so much more now. There were breakable blocks. Uh-oh, well... Guess I'm not getting true ending. I don't know, this is gonna sound very psychopathy, but- and- and you can, like, see all their, like, the little nose twitching and then, like, breathing and stuff, and you're like, wow, I hold in my hand a tiny beast. What a beautiful world. What a wonderful world. This house has bunnies. There's like a, a gray and white. It's like those bunnies that are like so fluffy. And you're like, how are you that fluffy? I think I'm going to die. No. Uh, 
two of those like incredibly fluffy bunnies and uh there's a christmas tree in the room that they're like in they're like just in the living room and they like snuggle underneath the christmas tree and it's extremely cute they're, they're little gifts to the world oh that could have been good we'll get crushed there <laughs> okay, okay. There's just, uh, there's just, I, I know there's probably an easier way to do this, but there's also just a wicked precise jump I could do there. Eh. Maybe that's a better approach. I, I need to do a little hop. But I keep messing it up. And now I'm hop happy. <laughs> Much too hop happy, clearly. Yo, I'm hop happy Harvey. Try my new extra hoppy beer. That is like the most cope flavor of all time, by the way. Hops. I, th literally, it's like liquefied cope tastes like hops. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Does this make sense to you? It's like the most like, mmm, it's so good. <laughs> I love when things taste like a pine cone. Fuck. Mmm, this is so t <clears throat> this is so tasty. No, I don't have a similar hate for black coffee. I don't drink black coffee, but I do prefer it to be sweet. But I also, like, I can deal with black coffee. Like, I see the appeal. But, uh... Oh, man, this is hard. Ow. Uh, no, that's just gonna kill me. Like, bitter coffee doesn't taste as bad to me as, like, alcohol. Alcohol is just it's one I'll never get. And then on top of that, like, beer. Like, there are some alcohols that taste okay. And then there's fucking beer, which is just like, why? Remember I took a, a college class about beer. It was all about, like, the brewing industry and shit. And how to, like, like the science of beer. It was very interesting stuff, but didn't make me want to drink beer. <laughs> That screen took, like, a solid, like, 50 lives on me, huh? They're off of me. Ow. That's some party school shit. Are there party schools? Where it's just, like, all frat. <laughs> I needed to get on top of that. Of course! Of course! And by the way, the process of creating beer is fascinating. Uh, does anybody know the name of the profession? Ah, uh, no, why did I do that? It's like... Is it the yeast? No, it's not a hopsmith, shut up. Uh, I don't even remember what part of this there's like i think it's like one of the ingredients it's like the yeast or like the barley or something or the hops that go into uh <sighs> fuck I, I see i should really know what this actual fact is because it sounds so much cooler when i actually know what it is but basically there's a part of the process of making beer that requires like a a soil i think it's like a soil that a plant grows in that goes into the beer it like the dirt needs to have, like, a certain, like, acidity to it or something, and the way that you tell that is you, like, there are people who, like, train to be able to, like, smell it. It's like, there's, like, a guy whose job it is to go around and take big scoop up of this and go, <sighs> it's ready. 
and like that's all he does is he just learns how to smell this one part of the beer making process and know when it's at the exact right like that's the way they do it are you talking about the wart i am talking about the wart i am talking about the wart this is you can look it up this is a real thing ow The, like, wart god, W-O-R-T. There's a guy who comes in and, like, scoops up a big handful of the fucking, like, wart. And just <laughs> and sniffs it, says, yep, it's good, and then leaves without explaining anything. What a chad. <laughs> oh, no. For some reason, I thought I might, like, automatically bounce on that. fun. I do like the concept of, like, harder versions of levels. Often it's just sort of a difficulty mode. In Meat Boy, I think they were completely optional, or in Super Meat Boy, rather. Huh. Because it's kind of like... It, it, I've been thinking about, like, difficulty curves and, like, replay value a lot lately. Like, Celeste. I'm going to talk about Celeste again. Uh, Celeste has a really good way of doing it with the A-sides and B-sides and C-sides. And farewell. It's like almost perfectly structured, I think. So that you can like kind of get eased into the challenge of the game. And this is a similar kind of riff on it, but this is like... You have to do it to complete the game, which is kind of fucked up. That's more brutal than most places would have it these days. These fucking ghosts are, like, interfering with my ability to platform, by the way. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that is weirdly hard to do, because you had to really, like, precisely control one of those jumps. Like, the height of it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, dude. Fuck this shit. <laughs> this is gonna take like fucking 600 lives off of me. No, dude. Sorry, I had to scratch my ear, and then I have to, like, take off my whole headset, pull out one of my own hairs, and then put it back on and do the fucking, like, L'Oreal thing. God damn it. This is very reminiscent of, uh, Core, by the way, in Celeste these little guys that you bounce on. Great game, Celeste. I know I recommend it a lot, but it's a great, great game. Ow. And it's one that I think can be a little underwhelming if you just play the main content. Like, my advice is just play the A-sides. Like, the A-sides are great, but then definitely, like, please, even if you're feeling, like, mid on the game, do the B-sides and, like, once you, like, get your foot in the door on the B-sides, it's so, so fun. Because that's one of those games where, like, it's fun to play it when you don't really know what's going on, but uh, when you know what you're doing, it, it becomes, like, three times as fun. Huh. <sighs> still really kind of in awe of this concept, too. This whole, like, lives approach is very, uh, unique, to say the least. There's probably other games. There's, here's the thing. Like, itch.io and shit have, have made it, and, you know, 
just the sheer quantity of games that exist has made it uh, quite hard to have a truly unique idea. So a lot of times it's like, ah, oh, no, this was technically done before. But it's still a neat idea that I haven't really seen in, certainly not in vogue if it's done at all. Come on. Okay. Ugh. I'm sure, I mean, I'm assuming that I am about to go through, I I've basically been going through all the levels in the fucking game. Like, we're on, like, the third level already, right? Please, come on, do the ledge clink. Oh, there's a little skull there. I didn't even see you. Uh... I'm assuming we'll go through quite a few levels here. Uh, so I'm assuming it'll get quite a lot harder. Thus, I think... I think I'll probably end up game-overing on some of the other worlds at least once, right? Close. Oh. Shit, I waited too long. I, th I think I will be forced to interact with this mechanic eventually. I don't think I got that many tumors. I did skip. I skipped so many in Golgotha because that level was uh, brutal. To me, at least. Ha ha ha. Ha hoo ha. I can st and you can still go to the other worlds to get more tumors. That's cool. As you should be able to, I think. There you go. I just waited a cycle. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Card key? Yeah, they're gonna make... These card keys are the new way to make me do a level twice, or cross an area twice. Because now they can't do that to me with tumors. The world ended twice, by the way. Can, can we talk about this? What's that mean? Uh, yeah. Why was Golgotha so hard? I just felt like some of the, Is this guy gonna, like, kill me? Are we cool? Okay. Golgotha was so fucking hard. Like, I, those, those, like, moving blocks and shit. Maybe I was just, uh... Getting warmed up, though. I didn't play this game for a long time. I knew I was gonna suck a little, at least. Music sounds kind of like bit crushed and weird here. Okay, these guys were like some of my least favorite things. <laughs> Especially in large groups. So here we go. Huh. Yeah. Ugh. Oh shit. <laughs> Those Erg blocks kind of have a feel to them. I I don't really know which ones you're talking about, but I'm sure I'm sure what you're saying makes sense. Shit, do the drop. Hoop. This is bad. Okay, there's more because life is pain. <laughs> I think Rich Evans could do a fantastic Life is Pain, I Hate. Don't you think so? Ow. Do 
Court dismissed. Release the frogs. That's the... That's the Ace Attorney gavel sound. For my attempt at it. Buh! <laughs> it sucks. Ow. <coughs> they do that, like, raspy cough. The, like, coughing baby cough. Oh. Ah. Dude. This stinks. Love stinks. That sucked. I should have just, like, adjusted the height of my jump, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that screen. Oh, God. Cool. That was a lot easier than the last one. Or maybe I got lucky. Oh, I yeah. Uh... Oh. Maybe a 7.5. We'll see. How the fuck? Oh my god. It is doable. It's just fucked up. Ugh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's such a dick move. Those look just like the enemies that don't do that. <laughs> but then it turns out it's a giant version of the really fast ones. Better or worse than Fortnite is absolutely better than Fortnite. And I want you guys to know that I went into an open mind with Fortnite. But part of the reason part of the reason a lot of people ridicule it is because a lot of people have like fucking standards. I don't know. <laughs> For like something like feeling cohesive. Oh god. Please. Oh, I tried. I tried to jump. I jumped, I jumped. I bruh. Yeah, this game and and a lot of Edmund games are, are filled with fuck you game design. I don't know. Fortnite, you know, it's uh It's not like unfun to play. But combined with my general dislike of uh multiplayer, like online multiplayer and battle royales specifically. Combined with the fact that it has just like the worst aesthetic. And then just something like this, even if it has its flaws, it's still so much more of a, a memorable, interesting experience as a game, at least to me. Oh, those spikes suck. Okay, well, hmm. I'm also feeling signing off pretty soon, by the way. We'll see how soon. <laughs> I just got below 100 lives, so maybe sooner than you think. Mm. 
Like, seriously, I know talking, like, criticizing something that is widely hated, your criticisms are always just gonna get, like, tossed to the side and seen as illegitimate, you know, but... Genuinely, Fortnite is just such slop. I, I don't know how else to put it. In, like, basically every way. Not even just the common complaints, but, like, a lot of the little stuff. I think a lot of battle royales kind of prey on the same, uh... The same tricks of the human mind that get people addicted to, like, gambling. You know? And stuff can, uh... <sighs> Things can be, like, addictive experiences, and, like, even... Even if they're not explicitly, explicitly like, a gotcha game or whatever. Uh, even if you just look at, like, the pseudo-random, like, you know, not pseudo-random, but, like, the random... Whoa. The random elements, like the weapon drops and shit, being in, like, a... Oh, you get a legendary! Oh, it's so cool! Serotonin is pumping into my fucking balls right now. Uh. <sighs> and, uh... I don't know. I don't have a lot of games that... I don't have a lot of respect for games that try to, like, trick you into continuing to play them. I just like games that are fun. Or cool. Or both. Man, this this room is gonna fucking kill me. This is gonna be the end of me. It's this bit right here. I'm trying to do, like, a tiny little jump or one, like, medium jump, or something else, I don't fucking know. I'm pretty lost right now, I'm feeling... <laughs> feeling hopeless. <sighs> Man. Those are crazy. Those two little fuckers. Ugh. Ugh. Somebody said I was, like, racing, like, going too fast for the cycle, and I think I kind of see what you mean. Ow. Didn't mean to do a long jump there. Yeah, we just gotta, like, chill out on this hook for a sec, I think. Hmm. It's hard to think about everything that's happening there with this little dude, like, flopping around and the fact that there's three things there. I guess there's only two things on that thing that will actually charge at me. Huh, maybe... That's a viable strategy, too. Those, like, fucking spikes placed right at the end, they're so hard to get around. <laughs> I think... I, I'm gonna try the thing of... stepping on the platform... and activating them and then going back. I think that's got some merit to it. Oh, and then that guy fucks you. Maybe the answer is to go even faster than the cycle. Fuck. I wonder, there's gotta be some kind of, like, special thing that happens when you run out of lives, too, right? Fuck, man. It's just, I know, like, the concept of what I have to do there, but it's just... There's a lot of moving parts, and it's hard to, uh... do in the heat of the moment.
Uh. Ow. <sighs> See, every time I need to fucking, like, put a hair behind my earphones, then the cycle gets off. Try to do a tiny little baby hop. <laughs> this is not what happened in that moment, but do you guys ever have, like, you, you you hit a button, it's like there's a game where, like, it's, like, the amount of time or, like, the hard, how hard you hit a button. And it's like you try to push the button so lightly that you don't hit it at all. This is such, such a stupid brain thing, but, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, I remember my, uh, I remember my fucking music teacher, my, like, band teacher talking about one time there was a song where, like, all he had to do was hit the triangle extremely gently at the very end of the song, and he just basically, he tried so hard to play it softly that he just, like, edged the triangle and, like, got, like, one micrometer away from hitting it and just ended up waving the fucking thing, like, right at the end of the song with all the pressure on him. He just waved the triangle mallet at the triangle as closely as possible. Mm. Oh. Ow. I'm... Uh, my brain is fried right now, dude. This is... Step, jump, go, hop, tiny jump, tiny jump. Oh my god, that took that took a lot of lives off of me. <laughs> Holy fuck. We're not looking so good right now, Cap'n. I gotta I gotta go down there and we gotta do the, the level again, yeah. I'm really trying, like, I know it's like, I'll be careful, dude, but, like, I'm really trying. At a certain point, like, it's so cycle-based that, like, you kind of need to rush. Like, you need to go quick because otherwise the cycle's gonna, like, ruin itself. Okay, now... Just gotta make this jump simple as... And then you gotta do the level again. Maybe like right here? No. Let's just cling. <laughs> it's hard to tell if this is like a looping cycle or not, you know? Ow. The switch does not stay pressed if I leave. No, it will reset. Unfortunate, though that may be. Maybe, uh... Maybe, you know? Kind of like, you're like, <laughs> ow. You know, I'm really sad about Germa, like, not streaming as much anymore. I'm gonna miss him. I really liked his streams, and, and whenever, it was always, for some reason, you know, it's always exciting to see, like, one of your favorite streamers play a game that you really like. But it was always especially exciting for him, for some reason. I don't know why. I, I must have watched the streams, the, the VODs of him playing, like, Cuphead and Celeste. A fucking... 50 times at this point. Just in the background. I would have loved for him to play this game. Huh. 
38, by the way. Fuck 37. I don't even know what these are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So scared. Whoa. Sucks. Okay, just go faster. Really fucking fast. There we go. What the fuck you gotta do? You gotta have it at the highest possible height. <laughs> Cause you gotta jump over that, you gotta, you gotta. Ow. Ugh. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, that's so stressful. Oh. Okay. Well. How long have I been going? 248? And that's plus the Joe, the lost Joe time. I'm gonna have to fucking install. Oh, I'm gonna, it's gonna, at the very end of the VOD, it's gonna, like, fade to, uh, what is it called? The, like, Wonder Cut or whatever, the program I use. I use some like free program and it's gonna it's gonna show the logo at the end. Okay. Uh fun game. Let's What the fuck was there just lightning? Twitch channels. Don't know what happened with OBS earlier. I hope that was a one-time thing, because that was really annoying. There were some lost minutes there of me griping to really, really important stuff. Uh, okay, should... It, okay, I hate that I need to ask this, but it'll fucking save, right? Like... Okay, let's just... I want to, like, go in here, actually, and see what we got on this screen. Okay. Very cool. So I can go back and, like, farm for them if I want. That's pretty cool. Golgotha. I might go back in there. I don't know if we need them later. Might be something I end up doing. Uh, I don't know, I didn't know if it was like, oh, in this last part, if you, like, quit out, you... sucks that I have to even think that. I shouldn't, I, it's probably unreasonable for me to think that. That's some fucking, uh, Ghosts and Goblins remake bullshit. Alright, oh, awesome, that is awesome. Just default to that, yeah. I love the, like, long window. Oh, Jabroni Mike's Overture was playing in the background. Uh... Okay, who who's streaming? Yeah. Should I do? Four. All four of them. Oh look, Fortnite. That's so cool. So cool. Schlatt, Jay Schlatt is streaming. I've watched Schlatt before. He uh he does like a lot of like React style stuff, right? There's a lot of people I've been exposed to through watching like like Isabel will watch them on her phone or whatever. Mango. 
playing Binding of Isaac drunk? Am I seeing this correct? Oh. What do you mean my damage is finally average? Huh. Good. Have you guys ever been average at Let's go raid Mango. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll watch him suck it, Isaac. I don't know. Does I mean, does he know how to play it? Maybe he doesn't suck. That's so funny. Slash raid. Mangi, and, and then the, the O is a zero. Okay, no, Alright, let's go raid Mango. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Sorry I was cranky during Golgotha. But, uh, fun game, interesting game. <laughs> and this whole lives thing, this whole second part, is very cool. Very, very cool. It's been my favorite part so far. Uh, there will probably be a stream tomorrow and possibly two the next day. And then maybe a big gap. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what I do. Uh, might do reviews or something. I don't know. I kind of... Is it weird that I don't want to do reviews because I talk so much during those and I don't want to annoy the people that live in this house more than I already probably am? I always I always ask. I'm always like, I hope I wasn't like too loud or whatever. I wonder if they heard me doing my dumb flight of the bumblebee bullshit. I got beats now, bro. Probably did. I should probably keep it quiet. Is the question mark always the same thing or is it always... All right. Uh... Let's go watch Mango play Pining of Isaac. It's so fucking funny. I will see you later.